Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here for you guys. Hey, another episode of Train Sim World, and yes folks, we are back once again and we're ready to drive trains and hopefully not uh, ruin everybody's day. So, what we're going to be doing here today, last episode we did the uh, Long Island Railroad, and today a lot of people wanted to see the Amtrak, so we're going to do the uh, NEC New York, and then eventually I do want to move on to the CSX stuff. Now, the dev has been kind enough to send me uh, even more DLC, so there's a couple more things that I need to download, including, uh, I think there's like a classic train in there, and there's a couple more routes that I need to download. But overall, it seemed like you guys actually really enjoyed the first episode of this. So, the Amtrak's a little bit different of a train and the way it works. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of stops like the Long Island Railroad, at least I don't see where it does that. It typically goes from point A to B. So I think today we're actually going to start off with a tutorial uh, because it looks like most of the scenarios on here don't have you actually start the train up, which is a little disappointing. So we're going to do the uh, the tutorial, show you guys how to start this thing up, then go right over to a scenario and probably do something where we go into like New York's uh, Penn Station. So I think this is going to be pretty awesome. But anyways, we're going to jump right into the tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, comment below if you guys have anything you actually want to see me try uh, to do. Uh, yeah, just let me know. And if you're enjoying this on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump right into this. Okay, so we're going to do the ACS64. Now, the CSX trains actually do operate on the same route. Uh, they have some scenarios themselves. Uh, so we might try to do that next episode, but I do want to go ahead and jump right into the Amtrak stuff here. All right, here we are. Here's the Amtrak ACS 64. It's an absolutely glorious looking train. It's absolutely fast. I like this thing. I like it a lot. So this one's a little bit different. Uh, of course, I can't jump from passenger cart uh, to passenger cart like we could uh, with the Long Island uh, Railroad. Uh, but we can go ahead and open this up real quick, show you guys the inside, show you guys where all the people are going to be setting, and up, oh, it is completely empty right now. Actually, can we go inside the pooper on this one? Nope, uh, it seems to be possibly occupied right now. But yeah, very cool little uh, train here. Uh, let's go ahead and hop up to the front. I don't know why most of the scenarios don't have you actually start these trains up. I guess they're already kind of ready to go at the station, ready to be loaded up. Speaking of people, what are you guys doing? Uh, this train is not in service right now. I haven't even started it up. You guys can go over to the other side, uh, the Newark Liberty Airport Terminal. Actually, I don't see any trains over there either. All right, well, I guess let's get in the cab. All right, so this thing's actually pretty simple to start up. I've done this tutorial before. You're going to hear her talking in the background, but we're going to go ahead and uh, completely ignore her. So we need to go ahead and hit the battery right here. So let's go ahead and go battery control. Hold it down. It should uh, actually power everything up here. And boom. Ah, look at this thing. It is so glorious looking. I love the screens. I love the layout of this train. I actually like it a little bit better than the uh, the Long Island Railroad layout. Uh, it's just uh, really clean. You can actually play with all the uh, the screens here. Uh, pretty easy train to actually figure out. Uh, let's go ahead and go to here. So let's go ahead and put the, uh, the pantogram up, which I think we go ahead and I think we go to the rear. So let's go rear there. So let me go ahead and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. All right, so the pantograph, what you're going to see it come up here in a second, uh, it is actually uh, connected to the top. You've got this overhead line, and that's how this train actually gets uh, uh, gets power. Uh, I probably called it a pantogram at some point, or, or a pentagram. <laughs> I don't know what I've called this thing before. So we're going to go ahead and put this up in the up position, which is going to be right here. All right, so that should be good. So you see the rear, it comes up and it actually uh, makes contact with the top there. So all we got to do is uh, go to the main circuit breaker now. And we should be able to close that. And let's go ahead and go boom, closed. All right, so I think we're pretty well ready to go here. So this will be pretty much where we would jump into the scenario. But I just wanted to really show that first section since it doesn't typically have you do that in the scenarios. At least the ones that I played. Not to say that it's uh, the case with every one of them. But yeah, let's jump over and let's go ahead and find a route here. All right, here we are. So I just wanted to show you guys that first little part. Now we're ready to actually travel somewheres. Uh, we are at New Rochelle, I believe. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. 
Uh, we're going to actually pass through the same station that the tutorial was on, I believe. And then we're going down to Penn Station, which is in New York City. All right, so we've got a bit of a ways to go here. I think it's like 15 miles worth of track, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, look at this. All the glorious people popping out of midair. They're all loading up. Hello, I'm your train conductor. Probably scares you guys a little bit, the whole fact I'm not in the uh, actual cab itself yet. All right, so it looks like we have another train that's about to launch over here. That's one thing I love about this game, like the, uh, just watching the other trains operate, you can see them fill with people. I don't know, just atmosphere, this game is perfect. Alright, so we're gonna set in the engineer's seat here. We are basically ready to go. Let's go ahead and set the reverser to, uh, oh, not that far. There we go, forward. Let's go ahead and make sure, alright, front headlight's on. Let's go ahead and turn the ditch light to, uh, let's just turn it on. All right, we should be about ready to go. Now, unlike the uh, the Long Island Railroad, where you would actually have to have like a key system to unlock the doors, the, this one you have to do it uh, by the little game menu here. So we're gonna unlock the left side. So that's gonna start unloading, or start loading up passengers, I believe. We're not unloading, are we? There was a lot of people, oh yeah, we are. So we're unloading and loading. So all the people are uh, going about their busy day. A lot of people wanna go into New York City here, so. I'm actually curious. I haven't finished uh, a part of this route, so I want to see what Penn Station looks like. Like, are we going to see some of the uh, the New York City skyline? I'm actually kind of curious there. All right, we're almost loaded up here. Lights are on. We'll, uh, I think we signal twice on the horn to uh, exit the station, and we should be good to go here. All right, we are uh, locking doors. All right, we are ready to depart, so let's go ahead and uh, give it a little toot toot here. Let's go toot toot. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to do that in a little bit different manner. All right, so we're going to go ahead. This is your brake here. We're going to go ahead and put it on release here, so we're ready to roll. All right, so let's go ahead and start to give it some throttle here on the master controller. There we go. We're rolling. Let's try not to make it too abrupt here. Uh, we'll start off slow. They're going to be fairly slow coming out of the station. Yeah, we've got 16 miles of tracks today, folks. Uh, but we will not be making any stops. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward route. All right, so a couple neat things that I've noticed about this train. I really do like these menus. Like, you can actually straight up go to, like, any of these uh, different little options here. Uh, they got, like, day to night modes. Uh, you can actually go to, like, different crew messages. Pretty much all the info you need is right here in front of you. All right, what are we doing? We need to pick up 45 miles per hour is our target here. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a little bit more here. There we go. So this thing does have some pretty fast sections where we'll be going upwards, so I think right around 70 miles per hour. But I think it takes a second to get to those. All right, we are rolling through. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of air in here. Uh, it's pretty late in the day, I believe, so let's go ahead. We're going to turn on these cab lights real quick. Uh, desk lights are on right now. Uh, we're going a little over the speed limit, but, you know, Komodo lives on the edge. He likes to go a little overboard sometimes. I know that makes me sound really edgy, but that sounds kind of ridiculous, too. Ah, uh, look at this glorious train. This is awesome. I kind of wish you would make more stops along the way on this one. So, this is kind of one of those DLCs where it's like point A to point B. There's not as much interaction, I found. Uh, but I do kind of look forward to jumping into like the CSX stuff because it's gonna be a lot of cargo hauling a lot of train yard work It seems like and those missions are uh, particularly a little bit longer than these uh, These for the most part are pretty short. Oh, no, we do not want to unlock the doors yet What happens if I would unlock them as we're moving? You know, no Komodo don't screw this up uh, You got to keep this job just in case uh, YouTube falls. Maybe we can go uh, up north and uh, be an Amtrak operator which I'm pretty sure they would like look at my work history and then be like no he's not qualified then they would look at my videos and they'd be like oh he's really not qualified all right so we're setting the master controller to max uh we've got upwards of 100 miles per hour was that right that almost looked like a glitch uh I thought it was right around 80s where we're no we actually can get up to 100 miles per hour right now all right we are at full speed uh brake is off now, I will mess with this brake a little bit. I found, like, uh, putting it to the minimum application in certain spots is actually pretty good. Uh, but through this area, we are allowed to go full-blown really fast. But we do look like in about 1.3 miles, uh, we're going to slow down to about 45 miles per hour. So we might be going through another station. I think we do go through the airport station at some point. All right, about a half mile out. Let's go ahead. We're going to go into the idle position, and we're going to start applying a little bit of brake here. Uh, we actually probably need to apply quite a bit of brake here. Let's go to about 20%. 
Uh, it's going to be close to hit our mark. Let's go ahead, up that a little more. Uh, oh, look at that. We're passing by another train. We're going to be over the speed limit here, aren't we? All right, boom. It knocks down. Yep, we are speeding. I'm trying to keep this within the uh, within the range that we're supposed to be. Uh, it kind of, it's weird. I guess it's because it's bridge that we go 45 because we pick back up to 70 uh, right after. I know last episode, a lot of people were like, man, Komodo, you didn't go to the speed limit at all. And so I'm trying to make it a little bit better because uh, last time we were actually on time on every stop, which was a miracle considering that was one of the first times I actually went through that route with those stops. Uh, it looks like we're going to start picking up speed again. Actually, man, look at just the, uh, even the environment looks awesome in this game. Uh, I don't know exactly where we are, but yeah, this is cool. Uh, it looks like we're going to do a little bit of speeding up here. All right, we have to be at Penn Station at 17.14, which, wow, that's actually, what, 20 minutes away? I don't know. Maybe there's some really slow sections through here because right now this, for the most part, is a really, really fast uh, train. I actually do want to do one of the longer scenarios where we start back. I think you start back in, like, D.C. or something. Uh, I think that could be pretty cool to do one day. All uh, right, let's go ahead and pick up some speed here. Yeah, it seems like we would have plenty of time to get there right now. You know, this train doesn't seem to be as loud. Can I open up this other window? Oh, let's go boop. Nope, it didn't really change the volume. Huh. It is still pretty neat being able to walk around in these things as they move. Probably not what I'm supposed to be doing on the job, though. All right, so I got a question for uh, all you train people. So does this Amtrak ever cross over roads? Like, I've seen we cross under it, and we'll probably go over it with bridges and stuff. But does this thing ever, like, have to deal with any sort of traffic? Or is that even a possibility? I'm kind of curious. Of course, you would have to alert, uh, or at least uh, toot the horn a couple times. But I don't know if this thing actually has to deal with that at all. Uh, I don't think so. I know on the CSX stuff, you would have to actually go through a bunch of crossings and stuff. But here, I think you're pretty well good to go. There goes another train! Oh, they're so detailed. Like, I think you can even see the people in the other ones. That's so cool! All right. You know, I really wish I can go back there and screw with the uh, the passengers, but I can't at the moment. So one bad thing about this train, like I want to get up, like I want to start opening the doors like the last one and go to the back. I wonder, can I still open? I'm pretty sure there's like a fell safe or something. Like I don't know if I can open that side door. I know the CSX, you could pretty much just open that thing up and you can walk around. How oh, many get up to 70 here? Let's go and start picking up some speed. Yeah, like you used to be able to pop these things open, but I'm pretty sure these are locked. Uh, can we pop the back one open? Uh, let's go boop. Uh, nope, this is the back. No, wait, no, there wouldn't be a door in the center. Yeah, it's still the same side doors. Han, I can see people. They probably look forward and they're like, what the heck's this guy doing right now? <laughs> Shouldn't he be at the engineer's seat? Nah, bro, I'm good. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wait, do we get to... Actually, I think we're about to take a left here. So, New York's Penn Station is 5.3 miles that way. But it looks like we have to actually swing over. And I think we're about to cross a river right now. Uh, which river would that be? You know, I'm not really familiar with the area. All I know is the Hudson, but I don't know if it runs down this way. <laughs> I'm probably getting this all wrong. Uh, we need to pick up some speed here. 50 miles per hour. Uh, let's get a look at this real quick. What is it? Oh, wow. Hey, look, a baseball stadium. Well, that's really cool. The only thing this is missing, there needs to be some AI traffic. Like, I'd love to see cars. Either that or maybe I just haven't clicked the setting, but I think that would be cool to see. Okay, looking for any sort of skyline. I guess we're so far out we might not see it. I hope we do see it. I'm pretty sure Penn Station's like an underground station for the most part. Uh, but maybe we'll see our... Or maybe we'll catch a glimpse of the New York skyline. It could be neat to do this at night, too. Uh, I don't think it's going to transfer over tonight, even though the thing is called City Lights. Uh, I think for the most part, this thing is going to be all during the day. Let's pick up some speed. All right, about to come over the big old bridge here. This thing looks so incredible. On, man, I want to get out of my seat. I want to be able to see over in the river. There it is right there. It looks like there's uh, potentially another ball field. Maybe it's a uh, soccer field. And here we go over the bridge. Uh... Can we go sit back with the passengers? Can I... I think there's a way to swap the camera back there. Uh, there's like a pass... Oh, uh oh no, that's a route map. Uh, is that a free cam? Oh, I didn't know this had like a free cam. Oh, we might want to be actually inside of this. 
All right. Yeah, that, I didn't know it actually had a, some sort of free cam during this. Oh, let's speed this up. Okay. Yeah, this is why uh, this route takes so long. It seems like uh, over in this section, like, we are not going fast at all. I want one of those blazing fast, just go 100 miles per hour the whole time sections. Uh, but we are not getting that right now. I'm assuming it's because we're on an elevated bridge. We don't want to fly off and fly into a neighborhood. I don't think that would be too good. All right, still 4.6 miles out from New York. Oh, here comes another train. Train! Oh, the camera just shifted this way. Okay, so the camera can't come in contact with other trains. Uh, we are actually speeding a bit. Uh, let's go ahead. We're in idle, so but we're actually on a slope. Hold on, let's go. Minimum applications. Give it a little bit of break. Uh, it's kind of fun tinkering with this constantly because you're trying to hit that perfect speed like I don't know what the unsafe speed is I know what the speed limits are, but what is the unsafe speed for this train? Like what's the point where you're like, okay, this thing might derail and fly off the tracks Let's pick up a little speed here. Looks like we were going into a uh, maybe another forest area Maybe we'll be getting some good speed here in a second. Let's see 55. All right, let's go and idle it here. Ah, let's see. We are cruising right now. Looks like we're going through another possibly train yard up here. I don't know if we're going to go through the, the airport like we did in the tutorial. I'm not really sure. Uh, but finally, that time or the, the actual miles is going down. Uh, I was setting at like 4.5 for a long time because you take a big loop and you kind of go out of your way and around before you start heading back in. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be slowing down up here. Uh, looking, any speed limits? No, we're looking green. Everything looks good right now. Okay, so we got uh, about nine minutes, or probably eight and a half minutes before we need to be at Penn Station. 3.4 miles out. I'm actually getting a little concerned that we're going to be behind now. I've been nailing most of the speed limits, and wait, is that the... That's a big tower. No, but Penn Station's over there. I don't know. I'm still looking for that uh, skyline. All right, well, it looks like we're okay right now. I'm kind of curious. Are we going to be close? Will we make it? Will Komodo actually be on time today? Probably not. Oh, look at that. There's another Amtrak. That one doesn't look like it's moving. Maybe it's just setting there. Not in service. Yeah, we're definitely coming up to a yard or something. Uh, let's go ahead and get another view of this real quick. Let's go out. Looking good. We're a little over the speed limit right now. We're actually uh, going downhill a bit. Oh, go over this bridge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. We're going in the tunnel. Oh, we are picking up speed on. Let's go. Minimum application. Let's go and uh, apply a little bit of break here. So, wait. Where's pin? No, 2.5 miles. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to make it, folks. Uh, let's go and release that. Idle through here. Question is, what are we going under right now? Are we going under a river? Or are we just going under a whole bunch of traffic? You know, during a section like this, I'd probably go ahead and uh, put these windows up. All right, I have a feeling this is actually not going to go above ground again. Uh, we're 1.2 miles out, and from some of the pictures I've seen, I think this is basically like a, a huge underground train yard. Actually, we are going... Oh, we're actually on an incline. Hold on, let's go ahead and give it a little bit of throttle here. Uh, let's try not to be late here, folks. Uh, I want to make it. Oh, man, there is so much stuff up ahead of us. I know a lot of people play this game without the markers, but how do you tell the speed limits? Are they listed somewhere around here? I know this has got a really pretty advanced screen here. Do I see anything? Uh, up, down. Actually, let's go to the different things here. Status, traction status, systems. Uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody can answer that. Can, uh, can I actually see the speed limits from inside the train or do I have to have those markers on all right we are coming up on the station pretty uh pretty fast here oh look at this there it is oh man look at all the trains down here oh we need to slow down I think uh, let's go oh oh yeah that uh speed wait I didn't even see a marker for it oh we need to slow down a lot here on 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 let's go brakes oh there's our stop right there oh no 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 brakes 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 all the way max emergency brakes ah <laughs> Everybody in the back is probably miserable. Oh, the frames get real down here, huh? Let's go. There we go. It's fine, folks. Uh, Komodo did pretty decent up until that point. Uh, wow, we managed to stop. Everybody probably threw up or ended up in the uh, the next seat in front of them. But other than that, yeah, we did it. Okay, so let's go ahead. 
Let's unlock those doors. Uh, unlock right. <laughs> Everybody is probably really miserable right now. These people are looking over like, thankfully Komodo isn't driving this train. Uh, hello, people. It's okay. Uh, let's go check and see if anybody lost their lunch. Is everybody okay? I, I'm, I do apologize about the uh, abrupt stop. I didn't see the speed limit sign. I slammed on the emergencies. But hey, look at the bright side. What, we're four minutes ahead, I think? Yeah. Yeah, everybody looks miserable. They're just walking away. All right, well, I got to wait until uh, 1714 right now, which is actually approximately a little under four minutes away. So I guess we'll listen to some tunes, or maybe we'll just walk around the station. Uh, can we walk up and go into New York City? All right, you guys just sit here. It's fine. I'm going to walk up in. Oh, no. It's everybody's worst fear, invisible walls and games. Dang it, I wanted to go up. I want to go see the city. All right, you know what? I'll stay down here. It's fine. Whatever. I can go screw with the passengers again. Uh, welcome to coach cl Wait, is there a first class here? There's coach class. Uh, cafe. Wait, hold on a minute. Uh, oh, you know what? I did not realize this train was like this. Okay, so there was like a little bar in here. So there's a cafe cart. Oh, man, I really want to ride this now, like in real life. On oh, what are the other carts? There's business class. So business class actually gets their own little, uh... On little tables here. You just better hope you like the person across from you. Hold on, let me set up down here. Hello. Actually, I think that's the same model character mine is. Hold on, let's go check out the other classes real quick. All right, so we have business. We have cafe carts. We have your coach class, which is uh, just your typical class. Probably be what I would ride in. Another coach cart. I'm assuming the rest of these are probably coach. Is there such thing as first class or is that business class, basically? Yeah, oh, the rest of these are coach class carts. Uh, yep. All right. Well, that's pretty cool, though. I actually did not realize uh, the carts were different like that. All right. One second. Boom. Objective complete. So are we out of service or are we going back the other way? Uh, looks like we're going to set the uh, reverser into neutral here. So let's go. Boom. Okay. So climb down and that that's it. Okay, we're done. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap up this episode. I know a lot of people wanted to see the Amtrak, so I just wanted to touch on it. It's not the most, I would say, involved train as far as the amount of stuff you do. Uh, you do still have to keep up with all the speed limits, but it's a pretty simple train. It's actually a little easier to, to drive uh, than the other train that we tried last episode. But if you guys want to see the CSX stuff, let me know down in the comment section below. I also have the... Uh, BR Class 33, which is a, I think it's an older train. Uh, they sent that over to me, and we have some more routes that we can do. But we'll go ahead and continue this. You guys really enjoyed the first episode. Like I said, let me know what you think. And thank you guys for all the love and support. We will see you guys next time.